I'm sitting here in Costa Rica with uh, bread, bed and breakfast, and I'm thinking about what I'm working. You see, the U.S. government, because that's what I have to live on right now, I have to rely on them, unfortunately, I hate it. I hate it with a passion. There's the passion that drives me to be putting on my suit and tie and be down here trying to take a business international when nobody else has done it yet. They say that I am worth, and my son and my family, my whole family is worth only about $2,500 a month. I'm worth more than that. But I was thinking about it, and my best job said I was only worth about 50000 a year. What are you worth? You see, when you work for somebody else, and you have to spend your time doing what they tell you to do, you can pee when they tell you to pee. You can eat lunch when they tell you to eat lunch. You can go to whatever basketball, baseball, football, soccer, whatever games, sports, music, whatever you and your kids like to do. That you can only go when they say you can go. Um, what what is that worth? They they tell you what kind of house you can live in, what kind of car you can drive what vacations you can go on, when you can go on vacation. And a lot of times they'll tell you that you can't go on vacation when you really want to go on vacation because you have to do something for them. Well, that's slavery. So, as a slave, you're given a, a pittance of what you're worth what, compared to what you make your company or what you earn your company. And maybe you don't make your company as much as what you're worth. There's some people that are underperformers and they don't really bring in that much money compared to what they're paid. And we're not going to get into all the, the stuff about health benefits and all that, but let's just say that you get paid $50,000 a year to make math simple, or $100,000. And maybe you get paid $250,000 a year. Man, you're worth a lot. But they still tell you when you can go on vacation. They still tell you where you can go on vacation, how long you can be gone on vacation, when you have to come back. They still tell you what time you have to get up in the morning, what time you get to go to bed at night. They tell you what time you can come home and see your family, how much family time you get to spend. So what are you working towards? What are you pushing in your life to improve it? Are you doing something that's going to dictate what you're worth based on you, your belief in what you're worth? See, I believe I'm worth a lot more than that. I bet you my son believes I'm worth a lot more than what I'm paid. Um, and I, I'm grateful to have it. I've worked hard for it, though. I've had a job since I was seven years old. So I've worked for it. This is my retirement. I got to retire early, but I had to retire on what somebody else told me I was worth. And even in your retirement, you're going to get to retire on what somebody else tells you you're worth. They're only going to invest so much in you to be able to retire and take care of you. And that's if they don't go under before you die. That's if that if you're working for another 20, 30 years, 10 years, 5 years, that that company doesn't fail. And you look at the economy right now, and depending on which media source you listen to, may or may not tell you whether or not your company or your business or your industry is doing better or worse. But what do you think it's doing? Do you see the people that are retiring out of your company living the lifestyle you want to live when you retire? There are a lot of people that will charge you a lot of money to help you manage your finances and invest well. Because what if you worked for Enron? Yeah, they told you to buy a company stock. Man, you can't go wrong with our company. We're going to be here for it. What about GM? Now, what if you work for GM and, and the government wasn't the government we have and they said, we're not bailing you out. What would you do? So I'm asking you, what are you worth? What are you working towards to value yourself? See, I think I'm worth a lot. I think the fact that I'm still alive speaks mountains that God has done a lot of beautiful things for me and blessed me mightily and I'm willing to accept the least of those. I'm willing to live a life where I don't get a lot if that's what God wants for me. But I believe because he tells me I'm going to have a mansion in heaven and on earth as it is in heaven that I get to have a mansion on earth. That's what we pray, that in heaven and earth are the same. So what are you praying for? What kind of mansion do you want to live in? Do you think that God's not going to give it to you here on earth? Well, not if you're not working for it. Not if you're not helping people. Not if you're not trying to do things. And that is why in our life we have chosen 
to be a part of a revolutionary business. And I am so fired up to be able to share this with people in a whole other country and to be able to change the world on a grand scale because I'm willing to work on myself first. I'm willing to impact my son. I'm willing to, to sacrifice my time and energy and efforts of leisure to be able to have longer periods of time and energy and efforts with my son and my wife and be able to do things. And, you know, I hate that right now I can't fly home and be with people that need me. I have people in my life that are hurting right now and they're hurting bad. And I'm mad because I look at myself in this camera and I look at myself in the mirror and I say, you have failed to be what you're worth in order to be able to be there for your friends and family when they need you. And to those friends and family, I, I am sorry. But I will not quit. I will not give up. Until the Lord takes the last breath of me, I am going to work hard to be able to overcome whatever obstacles are put in my way and to put the devil behind me to be able to prove to my son and the world that anything is possible. That no matter what your health, what your wealth, what your status, whatever it is, that there is a way that you can improve, that you can not only improve, but you can get paid to do it. For six years, I was like, there's got to be a better way. There's got to be a better way to educate people. Man, there's books. We could, what if we could just read good books? Man, if we could just promote that idea. Man, I bet you we could pay people. And God gave it to me. He handed it to me on a silver platter, or actually a red platter, red and white, my favorite colors. And it says life, living intentionally for excellence. You can get paid to live your life for excellence. But otherwise, you can only live the life that your boss tells you you can live, that your employer can tell you you can live. They are going to dictate what you work. So what do you work? What do you work?